So we're here at the NVIDIA booth and um, yesterday on day two of Mobile World Congress, uh, NVIDIA announced Cal-L, which, which is the internal name for their next-gen Tegra architecture. Um, so taking a look at the um, kind of tip list below, world's first mobile quad-core CPU. Um, we've got a 12-core NVIDIA GPU, which is, I believe, 2x. I'm getting, a, I'm getting on the side here someone telling me it's 3x. Um, and uh, Tegra 2 and then we're talking about extreme HD so an ultra high resolution uh, playback and uh, on average five times sort of uh, improvements over Tegra 2. This is a, a demo that's, that's running here. It's um, it's not a video, it's a fully rendered 3D game with interaction between, I don't know how much is going on, 600 characters um, and it's playing at about 30 frames a second. On Tegra 2 that was something like 12, 10 to 15. So there you are, there's the, there's the improvement in the graph is very difficult to show it with the, with the light here, unfortunately. As low as five, five to ten is probably right, the average. Right, right, right. And then above it, um, they're showing how um, web browsing is spread over the four cores. This is a video recording of something they did in the lab. And as they start up, these these pages are loading from disk, so it's just pure um, show of rendering capability. But it does prove that all four cores are being used for web, so it's not. It is going to bring an advantage in that respect. Um, let's go and have another look at uh, another demo now. Right, so we were talking about this extreme HD capability. Here it is in action. This is 1440p video. I don't know what sort of bitrate it is, but it must be huge because it's like 2560 by 1440 resolution. Uh, it's playing back on, on this device. Don't ask the question why do you want to run that sort of resolution on, ta resolution on the tablet because that cable there goes to the full res here and that's probably why you want to do it. This is your, your ultimate 1440p set top box we've got here. This is amazing. It's a, a beautiful uh, beautiful image here. Um, do you know the bit rate of that video? That must be mega megabits per second. 40 to 50 megabits a second of decoding. So you assume it's something like HD64. That's, that's incredible. So that's a uh, couple of demos of the, the, the brand new, newly announced project, Cal-L. Uh, products expected in the tablet space in August and smartphones uh, later in the year, maybe Q4, towards Christmas I'm hearing. This is Chippy with NVIDIA at the Tegra booth with the next-gen Tegra platform. But one more thing actually, this is an unboxing of the next-gen Cal-L Tegra project roadmap. No, actually, it's beyond Calo, right? Okay. Okay, take it away. Here we go. <laughs> so this this was actually in a press release this morning, I do believe. But there you go. They actually had to to seal it off so that it wouldn't let any couldn't let anyone see it before today. But what you're seeing there is basically Tegra 2. That line in the middle is called to Duo, I believe. They, an older, three-year-old style. We're going to get some more details on that, actually. 5X is Kal-El over Tegra 2. Then you're moving up to Wayne in the 10X. Logan and Stark is hitting the 100X performance uh, category there, which is uh, quite amazing. That's a two, 2014 target there. So. You know, this takes it way beyond tablets, laptops, desktops even, server market, who knows. Video editing on the go, that's kind of something that I'm interested in. I'd love actually to have a Tegra 2, sorry, a Kal-El in the back of this camera right now, touch screen, so I can edit this video and push it off to the internet. <laughs> right All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.